Hello, this is Mo, a full stack developer at goodselects.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about best of hosting for WordPress sites. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Before we start talking about web hosting for WordPress, we need to know why people search for web hosting for WordPress. WordPress is a large framework. It gives you the freedom to build anything you want and is both free and priceless. When you start making your website with WordPress, you start with a theme and you add plugins to adopt the design that you are going to do. It starts with a normal performance and start the slowness uh, degree by degree. And that is related to queries that are added by plugins. Usually plugins add some queries to the database. And the WordPress site becomes a slow, especially when you add plugins that you don't need. Or when these plugins add a design that you want, that you really want, but it's some kind, it has some kind of slowness. And to solve this problem, you start searching uh, why my WordPress site is slow. And you get many answers, one of them that you need to check if your web hosting company is good or bad. So you Google web hosting for WordPress and you get many options, but you don't know what is the best option. So many companies have uh, in their website uh, packages for WordPress, but they are not that good. Okay, so what is the difference between a normal web hosting and web hosting for WordPress. I mean a good web hosting or a web hosting uh, that is designed to serve a WordPress site. Both of them give you a secure shared web hosting with support, but the better one gives you a more advanced layer to make your WordPress site faster. I personally recommend SiteGround if you need an excellent web hosting for your WordPress site. Uh, so let's start diving. When you first navigate to SiteGround website, you will see the packages right away. Here you will see the uh, WordPress hosting and WooCommerce hosting. WooCommerce is a library uh, or a plugin that you add to WordPress to make WordPress uh, an e-commerce website. So, uh, but WordPress and WooCommerce hosting, uh, they are very similar to each other. So, uh, so the packages inside each one are very similar and uh, very similar in, in the price too. Okay, so let's start with WordPress hosting, get started. Here you see the packages, okay? You see here startup package, and grow big package and go geek package. A startup package is a startup package. Most of uh, cheap web hosting companies and uh, gives you a little power of the server. Uh, at SiteGround uh, and at the lowest price package, uh, it gives you more power of the server. So the first push for a WordPress site to make it faster is to give it a more power. Here, the grow big package, it's a more power of the server with a, a more advanced layer to make uh, the WordPress site faster. And uh, I recommend, I personally recommend uh, this package. Uh, but at the end, you can choose the one that best suits your needs. When you get the startup package, you will get a normal cPanel with a more power of the server. But when you get the GrowBeak package, you will get a control panel with a section specialized for, for the speed of your website. So I'm going to uh, talk about how to activate this layer in this package. When you get the GrowBeak package for your website, you see a speed section in the control panel. And under it, you see caching. Caching is the more advanced layer that I talked about. You see in the caching three levels. The first one is the Nginx direct delivery. You see under each one, there is a description. I usually activate each level 
the first one, uh, you can activate it by the action button under the uh, actions column. Uh, the second level is dynamic cache. Dynamic cache, it can be activated in the, in the control panel of your WordPress site. The dynamic cache to be activated in uh, your WordPress, you need to download a plugin. Plugin called, you can see it in the plugin section, add new, then SG Optimizer. SG Optimizer, uh, this is it. Okay, you can download it, download it directly from uh, Word, your WordPress uh, control panel. You will see it later. So the SG Optimizer plugin, gives you the ability to check the caching levels and you don't have to get to uh, or to navigate to site ground control panel each time you want to check. And so uh, the third section is memcached. Memcached can be enabled uh, also uh, in uh, the SG Optimizer plugin uh, and you can activate it here. But I recommend for, for the first time to be activated here. Okay, uh, so these, these are uh, the caching levels uh, of the more advanced layer that I talked about. Here in your WordPress site, you can go to plugins, add new, then you type here SG optimizer. You can install it. I already, I have already installed it. Okay, and then you click on activate. After activating it, you will see a new section in the control panel of your WordPress site called SG Optimizer, uh, as you see in the left sidebar. So here you see Super Cacher settings, uh, dynamic caching activated. And, and memcached activated too. Other sections depends on if you are a programmer, you can decide uh, whether to activate them or not. But the main ones are the dynamic cache and memcached. The engine X uh, delivery or stat engine X static delivery is activated directly from the uh, site ground control panel. And you don't need to uh, check it uh, again. Just the dynamic caching and memcached are needed to be checked and activated. This was our tour for the best web hosting for WordPress sites 2021. If you decided to buy one of the packages at site ground, please use the link written in the uh, description of this video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if you are interested in getting more information about uh, development, programming, hosting, uh, etc., you can visit us at uh, goodselects.com blog. Thank you. Bye bye.